Hello guys, welcome back to the Flybug Podcast. Ooh. Today you got your biggest, bestest host, Sincere, host of the Flybug Podcast. I'm joined with Marcos. I am the co-host of the Flybug Podcast. I think today it would be fun to do kind of an immersive episode where we go through the lifespan from birth to death that is of interesting. Native American men. Okay, so in America or like past past Native there? American? In, Sorry, in America. When? Uh, whenever bows and arrows. Oh, okay, so we're yeah. going like in history. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. I kept meaning to like look up <laughs> when were Native Americans around. Yeah. But like, I know they're still. So, you know? <laughs> Are we there. talking about before Columbus? Yes, before. Okay. okay. The uh, sailors, the Spanish, and okay. the whites came. Got you. Got you. Because they had internet back then. Yeah. <laughs> to be like, this is what we're doing today. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Do we have a year that I can go off of? Uh, Just to kind of yeah, be yeah, immersed. Yeah. Uh, hey, I 1532. wake up. 1532. So it's yep. 1532. 32. You're born. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, born Remember. like that. <laughs> well, attitude. <laughs> You're born. Oh, and there's a movie that oh. a lot of Latinos watch. Uh, I think it's called like Apocalypto. It's this really weird, like, it feels like an Indian movie, you know. Mm. They, and they got like people, yeah, like in, in blue and yeah. there's like saves and stuff in it. It was like, Start, I watched that man. as like eight years old and I've never <laughs> forgotten it. It's yeah. like something that for some reason every like Latino kid has to go through <laughs> is watching that movie. Oh my God. So I've seen that. I've only seen clips. Yeah. And I still never like forgot those images. It was, yeah. It's pretty, yeah. it's pretty gruesome movie at eight years you old. You watched it? Yeah. That's I watched it with my crazy, family and stuff. Bro. Like almost like a passing, you know, like, hey. You're eight years old. You just <laughs> you said applesauce for dinner. <laughs> Here's Apocalypto, <laughs> a rated R movie. Oh yeah. my! Oh, there's a scene where they're like running zigzag, trying not to get speared. That's a terrifying feeling to ever, if ever. Oh my god! Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. People yeah. running straight lines. They're trying to figure out how to do it, and you're just trying to run for your life. Yeah. So we're born. We are assigned names. I gave us all Native American names. Okay. And this is for the viewers watching. First of all, I want to thank you so much for being a part of this. Uh, we appreciate your contribution and your viewership. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification. Hopefully we don't offend somebody. <laughs> no, yeah. I don't think we will. And let us know? know too. I mean, obviously you don't know what yeah. you don't know. Showing like an example of what two modern dudes would do right, right, in right. the circumstances of yeah. the timeline. I just want it to be like a, like a Michael or Marcus Rubin. We'll be throwing like the all white parties. Michael Rubin? Yeah. I think he had spoken on like a like a black issue. Okay. I don't know. I don't feel like Michael Rubin. <laughs> <laughs> Birth ceremonies. Mm. So, name assignment. Sincere. You are Sini Thantanka. Mm. <laughs> Is that how you pronounce it? Yes. I guess you picked that, huh? Thathanka. Thathanka. Two words. Sini is the first one. S-I-N-I. -I. Thantanka. And it translates to strong Goat. Sinny just happens to also sound like yeah. sincere. That's pretty good. Sinny yeah. the Thunka. Marcos, your name is Hit me. Hen Han, which equals wise owl. Hen Han. All right. And if Ryan was here, mm. his name would be Po. Po? For Kung Fu Panda. <laughs> <laughs> I would have been so good, man. He would have been here grinning until you said. <laughs> I ran out of names. <laughs> so, Hinhan, Sini Tantanka. I don't <laughs> you say it like a bunch of like, Tantanka. Yeah. Tathanka. No, now you're saying it like normal, but. Tantanka, yeah. Yeah. Sini Tantanka. <laughs> I think it's the Sini that gets you. Yeah. <laughs> Sini Tantanka. Yeah. When you say Tantanka, it just sounds like. Well, okay, say your cool. name. Hinhan. Okay. Hello. Nice to meet you. Nice I to am meet you too. Sinny <laughs> Yo, my name is Sinny Tathanka. I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> I'm from Brooklyn, yo. <laughs> so these are our birth assignment names. Mm -hmm. These names can change through life achievements. Mm. So as we go through our life achievements, depending yeah. on the choices we choose, yeah. this is kind of like life is strange. Yeah, right? yeah. Except we're Native American. And it's not like life is strange. <laughs> <laughs> so we get to chill out from about zero to five years old. That's, yeah. It's yeah not, okay. like, so we're born. <laughs> yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's 1532. Mm. We're chilling. 
Thanthanka. Hinhan. Hinhan. We're chilling, right? Five years old hits. Mm -hmm. No more chilling. We got to get to it. Now, combat training starts. At five years old? Five years old. Okay. We got to start getting conditioned. So combat training starts. That doesn't mean that we are combat ready or active. Right, right. We just got to start getting prepared. Five-year-olds are built different back then. So wake yeah, up. You had to be, yeah. Five-mile run. Five-mile run? Five-mile run, five years old. That's easy. <laughs> you ever seen a kid run? <laughs> You imagine yeah. that he do it for five miles? <laughs> Swear to that, that is that is crazy. <laughs> five miles. All right. Well, if if uh, we're going up at the same time, yes. Okay. Cool. I'm not letting you beat me. Yeah. Yeah. Not at in five? my life. Yeah. <laughs> not letting you beat me at that life. Oh. Okay. So you're you're pushing it for the five mile run. I'm pushing Next, it. Next, 15 minute wrestling matches, three five minute rounds. All right, I think you got me there. I'm starting to see our character develop a little bit. Yeah, they so Native Americans did a lot of wrestling <clears throat> mm -hmm. as kids, as adults also, just because, you know, no guns. So <laughs> once you miss with the arrow, it's like... Yeah, I got to start getting... Yeah, I got to get to it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> liver. Oh. <laughs> that hurt back then, too. Oh, my God. Yeah. You get a liver punch in the middle of war? Yeah, you don't got to know ibuprofen. <laughs> Time out, I can't feel my legs. <laughs> <laughs> that Damn freaking it. hurt <laughs> We got our five mile runs in I feel like you would have like two sticks Like taped to your hands And like like TT you know Like for your name the Tanka <laughs> <laughs> And so when you punch people They just <laughs> the <brand> TT <laughs> Yeah the <tanka>. <laughs> That's <laughs> a pretty good yeah, yeah So I'm giving you like like special powers You know So we gotta train pretty hard bro We're pretty young Yeah we got to Yeah I mean what what's the earliest age you think you do you think when do you think you could have ever ran five miles in your life? Um, is there any point I, mean, I was in where track for a little bit, but like running fit it? enough to run five miles as like an exercise? I think like running, really? cons like straight consistent running. Yeah, you know, I don't think I could do that. Oh, okay, I've done. I think like having a good pace and obviously like being moderate with like in but like like you know still like maybe breaking run sprints into jogs or whatever the case may be. Yeah, but not just a straight. Hey, I'm five years old. I'm gonna go run yeah. five miles. Oh, okay. As like a late teenager and sometimes in high school, I've done like seven, eight mile runs and stuff like that. And that's through like the cities. And oh, yeah? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like with my Apple Watch and shit. <laughs> but barefoot at five, I think I'll probably get like four or five. <laughs> four, four or five, five miles. Yeah. yeah. Before you get tired. <laughs> Before I tell them to load up the bench. <laughs> All right. So, yeah, we start wrestling. And, go ahead. 30 minute bow practice. So, that is kind of our days. After that, we get to be kids, play with um, sticks, fights. Yeah. So, you'd be a kid after training. And how long would that regimen like continue? Uh, this is between the ages <clears throat> of five to 10. Okay. So, from five to 10 years old, it's you get sprints. To, uh, wrestling is bowing and i'm hoping that this is more of like a slow progression yeah you yeah. know like by the end you're like this is easy but in the beginning they're not just like all right you're five five <laughs> yeah yeah get out there and try <laughs> as soon as you hit the <laughs> as soon as you hit the ground even then at 10 years old that's pretty that's super young yeah 10 years old trying to run your body's not even developed oh yeah but uh, I've, there's a lot of, like, you'd be surprised what kids' bodies are able to do to, given the circumstances. Mm. If you fucking just train them, you could really make some crazy little freak <laughs> athletes. All right, bro. <laughs> All right. What if we just got a hundred of them <laughs> under my army? <laughs> and then we get to a point where we're 11 years old. Yeah, so, so no. 10 to 15. 10 to 15. Never assumptions. So, so from the ages of 10 to 15 years old, we are now doing hunting trips and rites of passage. Mm. That's so, scary. That's scary. Have you ever been hunting before? Never. I've never been hunting before. Uh, we've been hiking before. We have. And we didn't see shiz. You know what I mean? Mm -mm. So imagine we're out there. And we gotta walk on something that's not a, not even a path. Nope. <laughs> there ain't no paths out there, bro. We're just walking through the stuff that we're yeah. in our head. Like that, that's unwalkable. <laughs> that's the, it's impossible. That's, and they don't have like you know like like water bottles like no. how we have them. Yeah. You know? 
or Maybe. shoes or shoes I, that doesn't have to be exciting though you know you've been training all this time and now you get to kind of like apply it i feel yeah so i feel like my first i think my hunting goes good yeah I you think. could run bro you're remember you're hella fat this oh yeah yeah remember you're sure. running miles for sure you've been wrestling your butt off now mm. okay you've been learning all my moves you got a little jujitsu under your belt you're now point. almost you were the founder belt with no stripes <laughs> <laughs> You know, you're sort of that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> nice. On the and same level. Now you're 10, 11, 15 years old. Mm. Right? So as far as these hunting trips go, it's just a lot of fishing, really. It's a Yeah. Yeah, it's a lot of fishing. Yeah. A lot I think of the I get bigger some, mammals yeah. are held to, you know, the more adults, right, reliable right. characters. Yeah. I got a few like rabbits, some rodents, and yeah, some fish. Yeah, berries, yeah. being helpful around the house. How are you going to catch something? How would I catch something? Yeah. I mean, probably like a And trap. what are you going to catch? I'll probably catch like a, probably like a, Tell like a rabbit it, or a squirrel. Um, How the fuck would you catch a rabbit, dude? Well, I would do, this is what I would do, right? I would, yeah. I would get a little bit of fish, right? I don't know if they eat fishes or a berry, uh, actually. Yeah. I'd get a berry, <laughs> sorry. Fucking... I'm over here wasting our fish <laughs> yeah, and stuff, so you know. That's going to whoop my butt. <laughs> now, I get some berries, you know, kind of get like this little path and stuff. And, uh, <laughs> you got to get a bear. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm going to just get a bear. I could get a bear. <laughs> And so I'd get a berry and then a stone, right? And then I'd get like two sticks, right? And I'd have the, like something on the berry, like a pressure plate, if you will. Mm. You know, so You're as gonna soon as. you build a pressure plate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's just like a little piece of string. That's how I'm thinking of it, right? Yes, yes. I'm just wrapping the, because it's like, like a, a thin twig mm -hmm. holding a rock, right? Probably two of them or some way to set off that momentum. So as soon as the rabbit moves this it just on its head that's how i'm planning on it mm. if that doesn't work if it's wounded enough then i'll try to i'll try to catch it because i'm probably not as tall as i should be or i'm sorry i'm not like a full-grown adult yeah. so i feel like i'm probably more nimble i probably get my first kill at like 11 12. yeah yeah that's me though it's never gonna work all me, right spearfishing you could spearfish, but you can't catch no yeah. rabbit, though. Nah. Probably like three at a time. No. I call cap. I call cap. There's no way you could see water like that. I'm giving I'm giving your old self your eyes, so that's probably not fair. Okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Let's be a little more creative. For my hunting trip, bro, I am bringing back a bird. A bird? I'm bringing back a bird. You're bringing back a bird. I'm bringing back a bird. There'd be no point. You can't even eat the bird. Hmm? It'll make you sick. Yes, I can. So, I'm gonna eat, I mean, I'm going to eat the bird and its eggs. You can get the eggs. I yes. believe the eggs and the nest. You can eat a bird, bro. What do you think chicken is? Yeah, but I'm saying, like, okay, what bird did you get? You're getting an eagle. What do you think? America, You're getting bro? an eagle? They're huge. You're bro. getting an eagle. You're getting an How eagle. old are you? I am 10 to 15. Okay, but pick an age because 15 is different from being 10 years old. I'm 10, bro. I got, I got my rabbit at 11, 12. I'm killing an eagle at 10. You're killing an eagle at 10? Killing You're tripping. You don't know You're how to do it, bro. You're a bug hunter. That's your nickname in you the village. You don't know how to do it, bro. You're a bug hunter. I'm going to hunt down the nest. You're going to hunt down a nest of an eagle. I'm a, Their nests are huge, bro. I'm going to find the nest. Okay, all right, all right. Right? I'm going to monitor it, wait for him to leave. Now you're patient, okay. Of course. That's a quality you just picked up somewhere. Oh. Wait for the eagle to leave, watch him leave. Yeah. Because he doesn't know I'm waiting for him. He leave. does, but he sure. He doesn't know I'm waiting for him to leave. <laughs> I mean, he's to set up not... a trap. He doesn't understand yeah. context like that. He's an eagle. <laughs> Neither, he's going to pick. Okay, sorry. <laughs> I'm hating on you. My bad, my bad, Sinny. Tathanka. Yep. I can't call you Sinny? You know, okay, Sinny Tathanka. My friends call me Sinny. <laughs> okay, Tathanka. <laughs> <laughs> and then I'm going to lair myself in bushes under the nest. Mm. And when he comes back, <laughs> I'm going to have a spear yeah. directly in the middle of it. And as soon as he sits down, cha! What? I'm going to Vladimir Putin. That is, that's not even. That might be the wrong guy. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to impale yeah. the. <laughs> The eagle from the bottom. I'm gonna be the prime and a prime minister of Russia, right there. His name on random Just people. Throw any name out there that that fits. Yeah, listen to Thanka. That's all fine and dandy, but in the real world, you know, in 1532, you're not getting that. You're not. 
an experienced one, yeah. I'd give that maybe, maybe when you're like 17, 18. Maybe. But you got to start. You got to build up to it. You got to get the you're rabbit. too big at that point. Oh, my gosh. You're not going to be able to sit on a perch. You ain't going to be able to perch. All right. I mean, all right. That's, that's what you think. But you did not get that eagle. You can get eggs, and that's all I'm giving you. That's all I'm believing. What did you get? Rabbit. How? With the little trap and the berry and the... What is what is that? It's the stone that crushes the, the rodent's head. How are you going to get it to knock over? Because when he grabs the berry, yes. it's going to pull a string, uh -huh. and then it's going to collapse, and then it's going to... The string is holding a, what, a rock up? No, a twig. It's holding the bottom of a twig. Oh, so it's just like a, a twig holding a rock like this, and when it moves, it's just going to... It's like this, bro. Yes. Yeah, it's like this. And the rock is going to be big enough to kill what? A rabbit. A, a rabbit? Yes. How big is this rock? I don't know what a rock will find. <laughs> I don't know, bro. How big I'll, put, I'll put it like maybe this big. That big? Yeah, it's not going to kill big. it. You're going to hit it. It's going uh, <laughs> to run off. Well, if, even Especially then. Especially if it just falls even over. Even then. Whatever direction it goes it's gonna in, gonna I'm going to go get it. Like this big, bro. All right. And it's going to have to be like this big, bro. All right. it's going to have to be like. And so you're saying you got, and the, then you can't you got the bushes <laughs> and you got the spear and you got underneath the I mean, There's eagles, bushes everywhere. And you got under the eagle's nest. It's not hard to find eagle's nest. Just All right. See All where right. it flies to. Nope. Okay. I call cap. I call cap. I will challenge you. If if you can get an eagle, I will go with you next time to, to see with my own eyes. And I'll write. I will write. I will learn how to write so I could put that down that Sydney Tathanka hunts eagles. And that could be your your formative name. That might be my life changing name. It could be if yeah. if you could do it. I'm yeah. calling Cap though, but that's me. Yeah. That's me. The great beak. <laughs> All right, go ahead. So now that we have proven ourselves, okay. All right, so we're gonna just say is All right, all right, all right. Fine, fine. Now that we have proven ourselves as fine hunters, <laughs> they have awarded us now to participate. Mm. So now we have earned the right to participate in the rite of passage. Mm. So now we have to go through our rites of passage. Yeah. It's probably no sweat off your brow, Eagle Hunter. You're just, oh, that wasn't it? <laughs> Let me go get something else now. Okay, so our rite of passage day is coming up. We're still arguing about the eagle eggs and all that whole jazz. Totally not chicken eggs, bro. Totally <laughs> not chicken <laughs> eggs. Just juke black dot on them. <laughs> <laughs> I probably would have believed it, yeah. This rite of passages, mm. the one I chose, I forgot what tribe this came from. But so we are going to stick a pole into the ground, mm. stand away from it, and we both get our own pole. So you can stick your pole into the ground mm. and tie a string to the, like, oh, the yeah. mid of it. I already done that. Mm -hmm. You tied a string to it already? Yeah. Okay, a fishing line. So untie your string and put a fishing line there. Got to trick you. No. Oh. And now put a hook, a fishing hook. You yeah. could call it. Right, right, But it's right. just a hook made out of bone. Right, right. It's an apparatus. Yeah. And then pierce it through your skin, right? So you got your hooks in. And your chest. Ooh. Two of them? Each peck? I mean, sure. yeah, right of passage. Let's do it. Not your nipples, though. Just your chest. Right, 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 right. So now that you got your strings mm. in your chest, we are going to start kind of bouncing and leaning backwards as it Whoa. pulls on our skin. And then the music. Now we're dancing. We're dancing hard. Get your chest moving. Peel that skin. And... All right. So now that our chests are obliterated, <laughs> we are passaged. You know, actually, I didn't like when that was happening. I'm so in tune with my body and my five mile runs I was doing since I was five years old. Facts. I didn't even cry or Damn. scream because I knew it. Because think about it, my name, Hen Han. Owls are wise. And I knew what it was going to feel like because I prepared for it. I did. I actually used African honey and just stuck it <laughs> to my chest. Well, you can't have that. <laughs> wow, guys, this is great. <laughs> right to pass. But, but, but you're Native American. <laughs> okay. So now we are 15 to 20 years old. Okay. 
starting to breach our adulthood. Oh yeah. Yeah. Now back then this is we are like adults, you're bro. forty years old at yeah. this point. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, what married Oh yeah. Yeah. I mean, but we we're shit, hunting was our good days. <laughs> <laughs> Remember, yeah, when our knees were still good, <laughs> now we're 15, yeah, yeah, and our knees hurt. No, warrior training again, warrior training, warrior training. First, five to ten was combat training, hmm. so now that we are 15 to 20, we are warrior training, upping up everything. 10 to 20 mile runs, these are daily exercises, log and stone pushing. Find a log, biggest log wins, that's our top dog. This, again, is if we are trying to be warriors, mm. but assuming that we are not bitches, <laughs> we are going to be warriors and pillagers. <laughs> you can't decide my life, man. <laughs> All right, so log and stone pushing, meditation, your favorite. Yeah. You guys don't understand. <laughs> <laughs> but, we guys are pushing all those logs. <laughs> but 500 years from now, Joe Rogan will talk about this. <laughs> You guys don't even know what time I'm on. <laughs> I'm so in tuned. Meditating is important, and y'all don't do it. So, yes, meditation, 30 minutes of meditation, which is a long time for people without a clock or phone. Or That is, yeah. Yeah. Or quick. Did you or like quick. Nothing else to do. Yeah, I mean, how do you even know if you're really... Because right. they could have been doing it five minutes. Like, all right, 30 minutes is dumb. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> It is all true. Right. Yeah. Man, we've been here for hours. It's been like <laughs> six minutes. <man. laughs> okay, so we're doing warrior training, log pushing, meditating. Meditating, and now weapons practice. Mm. Choose your weapon. All right. What is your ideal weapon? Spear, um, dagger, double, double dagger, because you can't just have one dagger. Long sword. So this is a video game now. Yeah, it's a video game. Bows. So bow Bows. or spear. I, you have to have a bow. Bow or spear. Bow. Or like claw and sword thing. Like clubs? Claw swords. Club Claws. swords. But okay. not a club. Yeah. Close or long range, I guess. Yeah. I don't know, man. I, I spend a lot of time meditating. I feel more comfortable with the bow. Mm. I think my greatest attribute right now so is, is being patient and drawing out the enemy. Uh, yeah. I do think there are times where you would have to go up. So if I had to pick, it would be a bow and dagger, you mm. know, uh, just for the more like finishing or up close. I don't want Sneaky. something. Yeah, I don't want something like heavy weighing me down like a club. But I, I do think that in combat we would fare like I don't think I'm the weakest link in the combat, though. Oh, yeah. 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 Me neither. Yeah. And there's only two of us. So, <laughs> What's yours, though? Oh. Probably a sword. A sword? Probably one of those curved swords. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Hit somebody in the neck. That would, yeah, that would do something. Yeah, it would definitely kill them, hopefully. No, I would want a bow and a sword. But we all kind of get the same shit. Right, you know right. I mean? But what would you practice with? I'd be heavy with the sword. Mm. Getting close. They got guns. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a good point. Pain endurance. Holding <clears throat> hot stones. Oh yeah, that's just heating them up on the fire and holding them. For wow! Just to learn how to be stoic, pain look mm -hmm. to the sunset. Yeah, I'm fine with that. Again, okay I'm patient. With some hot I'm, I'm in tune with myself. I understand Tough. this pain is temporary. Yeah, nothing your feet ain't went through after all these runs. Right, right. You're, you're built different at this point. Really. Yeah, yeah. A little hot rocks ain't gonna do nothing. Now we also. Got to practice our body paint. Because mm. that shit doesn't just, you don't just, you ain't right, right, right. That. That's a good point. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't body think about that. Pretty... Now I got to get drip. Got to get drip. Yeah. What do you, what is your general body paint? I want it to be kind of like, like wavy, like water, you know? Mm. So I'll probably have like some patches of, well, it depends because I also don't want to stick out. So <sighs> I think my color scheme would probably be in like the green, blue, and white, you know? <clears throat> but kind of just being like a like a more wavy pattern. So like, you know how the waves kind of have like a tip, right? They kind of go like this. Mm. This is white. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, and then this would Tsunami. be like blue. Yeah, and this would be like greenish, you know? Oh. And I would just have that like flowing, I guess. Yeah. And then that, I get face paint too. 
Mm, it's body paint, whole thing. Oh, whole thing? Okay. Yeah. Yeah, that's tough. I didn't think about my whole body. Thought just about my back. It's <laughs> one of the back just, tattoo. Back tattoo. There you go, guys. Um my you face. Ready? Um my face I'd probably try to uh I'd kinda want like like just kinda like black lines. <laughs> like black lines here and like down and stuff. Mm. Just to kinda look like the letter H. You know, because that's my name. Henhan. Henhan, right. And then just to kind of break up some of the color in my face, you know, especially uh, if I'm like kind of like a, like a stalker, if you will. Uh, yeah. Can't have it be too, yeah. too obvious. Okay. That's a pretty good one. Yeah. What about you? I think I would go. The Thonka. Yeah. Straight, tar black, red lips. <laughs> Something like that, um, like Mr. Popo from <laughs> Dragon Ball Z. Guessed it. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Okay. No, that was just yeah, a yeah funnier yeah. option. But my actual one was all black with gray swirls, like circle swirls mm. going through, kind of like a like a like a mystically like illusion kind of look, and then just be butt ass naked. <laughs> <laughs> In nice. the dark, you just yeah. see the eyes and some like kind of like a smoky look. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, but black in yeah. in the forest. I'm I pretty sure I'm gonna look like a black muddy dude. <laughs> yeah, not like how I think I look. Like, whoa. Nah, I... <laughs> <laughs> you stick out like a sore thumb, bro. <laughs> <laughs> it's a muddy black man. <laughs> You're just there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it might work out. Like they call me the shadow. <laughs> But yeah, I would want the black with the bra- with the gray swirl. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Get that dark, cause we got to be dark. Do we? It's war paint, bro. Okay. And it, it fits with our tactics, bro. You All right. Been, yeah, that works for you. That works for you. Yeah. Something that we are very heavy in is mentorship. Mm. So you should have a mentor, almost like Rock Lee and Guy. Okay. Lee. Guy, I think. Anything which is guy, guy. Yeah. Um, yeah, so a, every, a lot of people had a mentor. If you're kind of going down the bad road, you like drug abuse, like mm-hmm. me, then you get a mentor. Or if you want to be lazy and not contribute, because everyone had to contribute back. Yeah, yeah. Either through hunting, Gathering. cooking, <laughs> stuff like that. <laughs> Just yeah. that. And so... Okay, now that we are successfully painted, time to get married. Not us. <laughs> time Not for me. us to yeah. get married. <laughs> you need to get me stoned, bro. <laughs> nah, bro. Yeah, time I'm for cool. us to find wives. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what's your What's your tactic to find a wife? Um, tactic for finding a wife. Yeah. That's tough. I would say my tactic, because you got a lot of people who are like very stoic and like kind of like headstrong, you know, yeah. very firm. Uh, I would just kind of be a little bit opposite of that, I feel. I would try going more for like life of the party aesthetic. Life of the party. Yeah. yeah. Rather than like a, I'm like chieftain, you mm. know, just because it's everywhere. You know, everybody's the toughest, but nobody's seen battle yet. So it's kind of like... Mm. I'd rather just kind of enjoy this flow that I have, which is kind of like how my paint is with water. Yeah. And so, yeah. So, so super cool like uh, summer parties. That'd be mine. And uh, try not to be offensive would be my other one. Mm. Yeah, you got to pay respects. Yeah. Okay, respectful. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah that, that goes a long way in these communities. Oh, yeah, for sure. Because they're sure. very tight-knit communities. Yeah. And yeah. they go about caring for one each other. For one each other. One for one, one another. another. Yeah. Holy shit, one each other. <laughs> it's one eight hundred. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. For Whisper. one another. They Ain't really care about each now. other. Unlike people now, bro. People lost the value of community. The mm. meaning of community. Yeah. Fuck them. All right. <laughs> All right, bro. Swear to God. Um, so you, what's your tactic for finding a wife? So pretty much, I'm going to use my legendary eagle story. Okay. And all right, all right. After being pretty much celebrated as the best hunter. Okay. Up and coming prospect, <laughs> warrior, 
Yeah. I should be yeah. arranged with like a princess or something. <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Just straight for the throne. Yeah. You feel like. Yeah. You think you've done enough with your muddy war paint and hey, your bro. chicken eggs. Bro, I All right. when I was All ten right. years old, mm -hmm. putting those bushes on me, bro, I was singing for the long term. Okay? You're you were thinking about getting lucky that day with those rabbit feet. I was thinking about soaring to the sky with them eagle eggs, bro. Mm. Come on now, bro. All right. You could tell your bogus story at my party, but <laughs> better keep that at a minimum. <laughs> so pretty much after I get arranged to the yeah. super <laughs> hot princess. <laughs> Of Star Wars. <laughs> you know, how it always happens in these type of <laughs> environments. Okay. So, yeah, we get married. Okay. Married. Now. To our spouses. 20 to 30 years old. This is this is tough, man. This, this is, is tough, bro. We're not kids no more. We're this not, is. We know what we're supposed to be doing. This is probably the peak time for our bodies. This is. And I'm gonna get my name. As far as dedicating your body to the cause, uh -huh. this is the time. As far as being the protectors yeah. of the tribe, yeah. And as far as putting your foot down for the tribe, oh yeah, gaining new territory. Here we go. The, you're up front and center. This is you, bro. Twenty to thirty years old now. We taught you what we can, mentored you what we could, and now we are established warriors. <clears throat> okay. Long days of training and defending the tribe and also performing raids. And, I mean, that's kind of like, I mean, you're 20, 30 years old. It, it's almost the perfect time to download Raid Shadow Legends with their code. <laughs> Uh, I unlocked the super up. shadow warlock with Raid <laughs> Shadow Legend. <laughs> okay, back to the story. We're getting ready to raid. We're part of the same party? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yep. <sighs> so. Just us two or we're going with the rest of us? As a group. Okay. We're with the group. Yep. We got we're our mentors. We got together. some of our mentors or our, le or our teachers. It's us. Okay. Instructing us on where to go. Yeah, whose yeah. Whose jobs are whose. And we are chosen to go be scouts. Mm. First group we are going to go raid is an opposing Native American group. This is a rival tribe. Mm. They used to trade us, and now they don't want to anymore. So now we're going to go just take them over. Dang. Chief's we, orders. We can't even, like, like, I don't know, be diplomatic at all. Chief's orders, bro. Ah. Uh. Okay. Yeah, this is above us, bro. Yeah, this is yeah, above this us. is, yeah, yeah. So now we get to go scout it out. Mm. No binoculars, nighttime. Dang. Our tactics I can't even for. can see you with your war paint. <laughs> 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 okay. Is that water and nothing? <laughs> yeah. Got to be ready for battle. <laughs> is your ass chafing too? <laughs> <laughs> Who said that? <laughs> it's me, Cindy Ashton. <laughs> I hope that's not you. Okay, sorry. So I we're scouting. Scouted. We scouted our pretty much our route. Mm. Are very big on surprise attacks. So okay. as scouts, we have to go find a route, a way to hit inwards and out as fast as possible. After we get our routes in, we go yeah. back. We're reporting. <laughs> Front gate is actually open. <laughs> now the bad part starts. This is the part where things get insane. Battle drums start. Native Americans use a lot of crazy tactics like noise and just a, a lot of simulating yeah. and stimulation. So using the darkness, training in the dark, so that way you're just kind of adjusted to it. Uh, attacking at times like very early in the morning, so just being dicks, <laughs> and attacking in the middle of the night, so your senses for vision are down, using drums and uh, screeches and calls right, and stuff yeah. in order to just throw just them off it. everywhere, yeah, yeah. make them seem like there's a lot more than there are. We can sum it up to psychological warfare. 
Yeah. That's what I wrote down. <laughs> I pretty much tried to just Tiny, say that yeah. with a lot of, like, 40 other words, <laughs> tiny words. Includes drums, war cries, loud noises. And now that we have breached the gates, we have established the surprise, mm. we steal and pillage what we have scouted out for so we know where the food is at. Yeah. We know where the jewels are at, which are just, like, pearls attached to necklaces. Their currency used to be, like, shells, mm. like these special kind of shells. I think they're called Quahogs, like, whatever the TV show. From the family guy? Yeah. Quahog shells or something like that. Mm. We steal all their quahog shells. Thanks, Lois. <laughs> and then we steal all their food. Well, we kill the dudes. We are stabbing dudes in the like, in their sleep. Also, reward points, scalping. Oh, yeah. How many scalps can you collect? What they would do is just pin them to their waist. So running through, you would cut just a slint, like have a small knife with you. So your little dagger, yeah, just cut swiftly it's, it's around. A, well, it's a dagger. You don't have to like your little dagger. <laughs> it's just a dagger. <laughs> you know your little precision <laughs> knife you got. <laughs> it's just a dagger that you yeah. carry so it's, hard. It's to... obviously not as long as a sword, it, but it's what it is. You don't need to add no more adjectives. Yeah. Okay, so you can use your little surgical knife to. Okay. To peel yeah, you around. Keep, you keep saying it, bro. Like, <laughs> And then you just it? rip off the top. Okay. And now you scalp the man. Yeah. And then you attach it to your belt, and they're little trophies. And it's pretty much when you come back to show mm. how well you did. And yeah, proof yeah, that yeah. you're in there really working, you know? Because you can't go and scalp someone else's person. That's They'll true. they scalp you. It's a scalp be scalped world out there, man. Mm-hmm. Do you think you'd be able to scout? I think I've been, I think I've been conditioned yeah. to accept these, and I guess my morality at that point is, um, what's taken is given. Yeah. You know, so at some point this would be done unto me, and I have to be comfortable with the creator's decision. Yeah. You know, like these would, if not affected by me, just through the will of nature alone, you know, they'll be decomposing into the ground when they pass, you know. So I'm, yeah. I'm trying to be, like, very <laughs> self-aware, yeah. you know, and also trying to not, with my current uh, morals, not see it as, like, I'm completely destroying another person. Yeah. But I think in that time frame, or in that time, um, during that time, in that environment, this was very much a norm, and I was conditioned for it. Yeah. So I think I would have my little quorums about it every yeah. now and then, but overall I'm aware as to where I'm going to be ending up at at some point. So, you... yeah, I could scalp somebody. Okay. Yep. Sorry. I'm so yeah. sorry. Just yeah. I got you next time. Yeah. If I was at war, I'd scalp a nigga right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I didn't even know about scalping, but now that I do, it's in my arsenal. Also, you could collect slaves. You could enslave some young men. Mm. Maybe some boys. Sounds a little weird, but you know, you can. Also, women. You can take women. So, we usually kill all the dudes, scalp them, enslave women, and sex up women, marry them sometimes. Sometimes they get married to chiefs and stuff like that. Like, there was one, I guess, extremely beautiful woman, mm. and she got married to the chief, and then the people came back for her. And she did not go back with him. Whoa. Yeah. Because after, I'm pretty sure it was, it's a type of, what do they call it? Uh, postpartum, not postpartum, sorry. Uh, home, oh, oh. Stockholm? Yeah, Stockholm Central. Yeah, there Stockholm Central yeah, yeah, yeah. type of thing. If you get kidnapped by a bunch of yeah. Native Americans. She was a white lady, too. Oh, wow. Yeah, really? yeah. She was like one of those um, huh. American settlers. And she ended up wanting to stay there. Because she fell in yeah. love. That's interesting. Women are pretty irrational like that, though. <laughs> This has, so during the raid, we have our, I guess we get what we came there for. Yeah. And now we're heading back. Yeah, with our slaves and our women's. I don't know. I feel good about the raid. I feel like I, 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 feel like I did. I feel like I performed. I feel like I outperformed. I probably Outperformed? Did. Yeah. Probably went That's crazy. Fair. Yeah. It was a little bit of hesitation behind my throws. Yeah. Yeah. I think if, I, I think given the... The setting, I I probably got maybe one. At oh most yeah, you could also two. adopt. 
scalps. I think I only got two scalps. Yeah. Dang, like, bro. I think my first one was very choppy. Second one was probably fine. Damn. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Well, we we'll probably just get you a new job. <laughs> Actually, yeah, yeah, I did maybe. look up a job for this instance. There is a very specific job for our characteristics. But I think I like my life as a warrior. But this one for you, I think, works really well. Oh, yeah, an orator. Orator? Yes. So now that you have decided scalping is not for you. <laughs> um, so as someone who speaks well publicly... Marcos could be an orator who represents the tribe in important meetings and ceremonies. Orators were responsible for conveying the tribe's message, telling stories, and preserving oral traditions. So wait, wait, wait. In terms of, we got hunter gatherer, right? Mm -hmm. You got order, mm -hmm. and then you got warrior, and then chieftain. Yeah. Which is just like an old warrior. Yeah, which is another old warrior. So, yeah. so this the warrior is path to having my own tribe at one point. In order, I'm 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 just like what the British are coming like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> just or like, like you know, a you professional would... yapper, if you will. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just sum it up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm just the professional yapper. Yeah. Still, I feel like equally very important as job, important. Though. Yeah. Very, because we have to be able to convey our messages. Right, right, So right. while the chieftain says something, mm -hmm. he might mean something different. So you have to be able that to convey true. his messages. That is true. Without sitting us into a complete war with somebody who will whoop our ass. That is true. Swear jar. <laughs> okay, so that might be something. I'll try one more raid. If that does okay. not work for me, then I'll go okay. ahead and try. Now we are raiding white settlers. White settlers? Yes. This one feels a little bit more natural. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So last one, fellow Native American, you only got two scalps, no slaves. Yeah. I got about three kids, two wives, sixteen scalps. Sixteen. Uh, how yeah, big yeah. was this tribe? Um, sixteen. There's no way you. Cause how would I get those? And the other ones would get them. Probably still somewhere. <laughs> Probably still okay. point five of my scalps. But so white settlers. I would say I got like six or seven scalps. It's pretty good. Yeah. You could go back and collect, you know, after you shot the arrows. And, oh, okay. Yeah. I thought this was like during the whole thing. <laughs> like while they're alive. <laughs> I'm thinking. Freeze. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Nah, I mean like you just go through and whoever you kill, you scout. Oh, okay. But you don't have to do it like immediately. Oh, okay. Just make sure you know. Make sure right. you remember who you if killed. It's, yeah, if it's like a memory game about who I got. Damn, but you might have missed one, you know. Yeah, yeah, obviously. Yeah. But scalping's a game, man. It's the game. It's the game. Uh, I think this one, I'm I'm probably like a cool little three points. Some some average. Okay. Any, you would make it in a, any adoptions? Adoptions? Yeah. So you killed the dads. You killed all the men. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That can't work pretty much really hard. No, I wouldn't, I wouldn't take them. I know you'd I'm, kill them. I'm saying you kill yeah, them. Yeah, no, I'm talking about like the the kids. Oh, this, you, so you okay. kill the kids? So my my thing is, and this might be why I'm. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm more comfortable, and this sounds terrible. Yeah. At the first raid, I would have taken some if I needed to, which mm. this is back then, guys. I'm not saying this is yeah. like. I'm just thinking if I were in that shoes, right? Yeah. And that could even be because I've never been. You that would, I would adopt do the this. Native American kids, right? This not is, the white. This kids. is a culture that learns from each other, right? Mm. We understand that this is going to happen at some point, right? It's it's kind of our our way of life so far. A white settler has different ideologies, different morals, mm. and if you can't kill the spirit it's going to come back and kill you. Mm -hmm. So I wouldn't personally, for the white ones, I would just say, hey, I'm good, you know? Cause uh, this is going to breed. They're never gonna forget this. They don't understand that this is how our life is. They just see us as enemy number one. And so as soon as they get to the point where they can, they will, they will for sure. They wouldn't turn their backs on themselves. They turn it back on us. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think so. That's fine. I mean, I think without you proper um, like care and without 
a, like acknowledgement of those type of feelings, mm. that probably won't turn into fruition. I I think without somebody telling them that there it's not appropriate for you to love your kidnappers, you know, like therapists <laughs> and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah, it's a good point. I think the the kid would probably learn to love its new family, especially if I adopt him young <laughs> enough, and it would probably associate himself as one of ours, which is what what happened most of the right, time. Right, right, right. You know, when they adopt these kids, they just pretended to be Native American after that. That is interesting. Yeah. And I guess not even pretending, you just got adopted into the tribe. Right, right. You got the needles in your chest, did your little dance, and now you're yeah. one of us. And they, we would also adopt some men who would fight back. Mm. So you know how some dudes have those moments where they're like, do you know what? <laughs> I'm sick of this. <laughs> who the fuck is this chief anyways? <laughs> Swear jar. <laughs> Yeah, but it's usually not like that, and it's like a guy in Walmart or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he's just yelling at some teenager. <laughs> um, they would respect those. Yeah. They would yeah. respect those type of people and those actions, the people who would look death in the face and would take them in. And even those dudes would flip and learn to adopt the mm. culture and then become bona fide warriors. <laughs> Bonafide eagle warriors. War, eagle hunters <laughs> join my crew yeah <laughs> a brooklyn <laughs> crew <laughs> okay the eagle do yeah something like that like, yeah something yeah. like that yeah. i wouldn't know because they're dead <laughs> uh so yeah All we right. enslaved we got the women mm. we got some kids Ooh. uh you didn't get any kids Nah. Nah, and I adopted. So you're just killing kids, too. Oh, I got to kill them if I don't get them? What, are you going to leave them? If you leave them there, you kind of kill I, I them. Just, I thought somebody else get them. Who? Whoever else want them. Like, you know, no, bro. The too, got too many, bro. I don't want them. Oh. And I married the mom. You could have, like, I don't want Oh, that. really? So you now can't you have just, more? It's just leftovers. Everyone got their set to deal with, bro. Dang. All right, well... I'd kill the extras if I didn't want them. Yeah. And that kind of goes into if you can't kill the spirit, you know. Mm-hmm. You got to just dead it right there, dude. Man. Get rid of them. I got to talk to my mentor about that. I can come back for him. I don't have to kill him right there, do I? No. You could bring him with us. And then you kill him back at the village. That's, if your mentor is like, oh, yeah. I mean, that's him, probably. Even worse. That's probably even worse. Yeah, yeah. 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 You probably bond and talk to him for a while. Yeah. Yeah. Or don't. But once you're around something for too long. Right, hard right. To be like, all right, now it's time to die. I decided yeah. you might betray yeah. me later. Let me let me skip this batch and then and then I'll think about it a little bit more. <laughs> yeah, bro, you're yeah. order. I'm trying yeah, to tell yeah. you, <laughs> you done too much let thinking. Let me skip this batch and then I'll come back to this. <laughs> yeah, so we've signed you order. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, should we come in? <laughs> so, um, yeah, you have a clipboard and you stand. Um, yeah, submissively around the chief. <laughs> That's pretty much your job. <laughs> yeah, get out of here, bro. <laughs> but chief, you had a massage on Tuesday, though. <laughs> Order, please. Order, please. That's funny. I can just imagine that pep talk. Is my mentor come in? Hey, what's up, Dan? <laughs> um, tree hugger. Man, that pep talk would be devastating. They just say, oh. hey, we, you know, we got a couple raids, and you know, we've, we've seen the potential from your group. You know, we have, you know, the Thonka, you know, just two T's everywhere. <laughs> it's 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 incredible. It's like artwork, you know, just scalping. It's so. Anyway, that's him. That's him. Uh, for you, how would you feel about getting a promotion? <laughs> <laughs> My God. <laughs> Yes, we're gonna give it's not you. Not gonna be a change in pay, <laughs> but 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 in it's, rank, it's a different weapon. <laughs> if you think about it, here's bark, here's a twig. This is your sword and shield, <laughs> <laughs> and this is what you get to do. This is what nobody else could do except for you. You get to talk all day. <laughs> in here, you'll chill. They'll go hunt, you know, bring back whatever they bring back. That's not important. You get to talk about what they did. <laughs> See, they may have this, 
Yeah. But you, Hen Han, <laughs> here. You know, and if you think about it, Hen sounds like a chicken, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and they sit around all day, so. No. Send me back. I'm going to try this the- one more time. Okay. And I'm going to not only destroy, but mm. dismember and bring the scout back of Tathanka. Oh, my God. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> Not the number one warrior, bro. Nope. I'm just, um, you'll probably be exiled. like lynched. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm just kidding. I won't do that to you, yeah. bro. I grew You're up very with Very big on community. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And so you just gotta right. out scout me. I gotta, yeah, I gotta out scout you. And what are you up like? Probably like forty eight scalps. Forty eight scalps and yeah, two bro. raids. You're tripping. There's I'm no way you got that at this much. point. Bro. There's no way. I'm going crazy, dude. I've actually. Uh, Learn how to poison the people the day of. Really, <laughs> your so scouting I just walk got so in well. And I just, just <laughs> yeah. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Okay, so what happens after this? Um. Okay, so either we die because we are raiding. That's true. So that it's very true. easy to die. Um. We become a mentor. Mm. So this is now thirty to forty years old. This is like a hundred years, years old. old Where this is fifteen eighty two. So that is true. This is this is extremely <laughs> old. Thirty to forty years old. We could become council members. Mm. So, like presidential yeah, Joe yeah, Biden. Yeah. <laughs> Shane uh, Gillis. Can you imagine yeah. our own version of Shane Gillis? <laughs> the Native American yeah, Shane Gillis. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it would be funny. We become mentors, so mm. just you know, I will probably tell people yeah. how to kill an eagle or something. That's hilarious. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Redeem my secrets. Yeah. Uh, or spiritual leaders. I think this is where I see myself truly in day. As a spiritual leader, yes. I don't see you as a spiritual leader. Oh. I would put myself more as a spiritual leader than you. Yeah. See? I spend time meditating. Yeah, yeah, yeah. While you're meditating, though. I will have the actual drive to want to pursue this because this is the one field where you are prescribing and also in taking drugs as consistent as possible. That, yeah. And so just to get a hit, (laughs) I'd be blessing people. If I saw your name on the clipboard, I would just twig it out. (laughs) Nah. Ordens rules. <laughs> yeah, you're fatigued. You're gonna die from your leg injury, huh? <laughs> X marks the spot. All but, right, give yeah. it to the white boy. <laughs> so, hey, so I wanna, yeah, I wanna do drugs. I wanna do a spiritual leader. I wanna make sp- poof smokes. So I wanna have beads on my door. Oh, like that's that. cool. Yeah, that's hella cool. See, bro, you didn't even think about that, bro. That is true, but also carpet not on my your walls. position, bro. I'm sorry. I've been I've been running this gig for a long time, bro. You've been running your mouth. Well, you well uh, you're ordinating. Now nobody cares about what you have to say, bro. Because I tell them you're ass chafing. <laughs> Every battle they hurt him. <laughs> they call him bungalows. <laughs> yeah, you had 48 scalps, but at what cost? <laughs> yeah. That guy's crazy. Sacrificed everything for scalps. <laughs> everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. So a spiritual leader, it's up for debate. Yeah. Um, I mean, you could be a storyteller. I feel like those both go hand in hand. A uh, spiritual leader is more like a doctor. You think you're a doctor? Yeah. And the storyteller? I'm, the... I'm more of like a spiritual leader than a doctor. That's a good point. That's yeah. a good point. <laughs> yeah, I yeah, think they take different levels yeah, of... Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah different, like... <laughs> times when they do it yeah okay this is more of intuition <laughs> you know what i mean okay the other one and storyteller yeah i don't want to talk to nobody yeah straight from yapping to yapping <laughs> as professional chief yapper <laughs> it's a made-up title they gave for me i'm the only one in history who's ever had this <laughs> I want to thank everybody for being part of my growth from running to <laughs> rabbit hunting 
They're not professional yappers. <laughs> no, I'm talking. Yeah. Got these strong legs for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> legs are extremely yeah. strong for Okay. No reason. And at the end of my life, my name was, let's see. Mm-mm-mm. Walkie talkie. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty good. That is pretty good. Hen Han Walkie Talkie. <laughs> and then yours, let's see what, what Sunny Tathanka ended up as. Um, Sunny Tathanka probably died as. A whole, I don't know why he died. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't need to die yet. Nah, bro, you died. Sunny side up. <laughs> There you go. It's an egg reference. <laughs> yeah, and their scalps too. Yeah, that's yeah. how I'm making those egg legs. <laughs> Sunny side up. <laughs> I actually hate eggs like that. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's your name. Okay, that's pretty good. Well, walkie talkie and <laughs> Sunny side up. <laughs> <laughs> it's Sunny side up. <laughs> oh God, God damn it. <laughs> I wish Poe was here. So I'd be like, Shut up, Poe. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder what Ryan would have ended up as. Probably hunter gatherer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I mean, he'd probably be like, like probably the head of the painting department. To be real, the painting, it painting. If oh, if yeah, yeah, if yeah I don't yeah. do it myself, and he, oh, yeah. yeah, I would Someone see him needs doing to paint that. Your back. Right, right, right. <laughs> Put baby powder on you. Oh, you probably do cool designs. That's I think the, we probably will get painted by somebody. Right, like a local artist. That probably be <laughs> that'd be Ryan yeah. or Poe. I should say Poe yeah. would do that. Yeah. Poe, you got your use. Yeah, every every person in the village serves a purpose. That's yes. why from five years old you run until you're fifty. Yes. So there you go. So you could tell stories about it and be a mentor and die. I hope I'm we're dead, and I hope you enjoy that episode of the Flybook Podcast. Yeah. From birth to death, I'm a I Native think American. Be, uh, yeah, interesting to dive into more episodes like this. Yeah. Especially getting into more modern day. You know, even going back like a hundred years would be interesting. Yeah, because we have a lot of luxuries and we stay very much in tune with those technologies and having just a moment to just think of yourself if your day to day was for you know hunting or warrior training or raiding. Yeah, it definitely gave me a lot to think about. So I appreciate the the conversation. Thank you. Yeah. Please make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ring that bell notification. Hope you have a wonderful day, afternoon, and evening. Peace.